Good afternoon. It's March 7th. Nice, beautiful, sunny day. Wind is coming in from the southwest. And uh, really not that breezy, you know, probably 11 to 14 mile an hour winds, a couple gusts here and there. Like the camel job on that. Oh, that's funny how the camera responds. You can hear it, it's twirling. The other one is uh, uh, way over there. They're both moving. They're both making, you know, two to 400 watts uh, when they catch a gust. But uh, they have forced my solar controller down to almost zero watts because the batteries have been full since about 10.30 in the morning. But the balance blades are making huge difference. Oh wow. My level is vibrating. You want to get your pole level get yourself one of these. They work awesome. The balance blades and the new tail is working fantastic. Let's see if we can get a better view of that. See there's it's a one by two piece uh, 18 gauge sheet steel and then I put a six inch by 12 inch cross section centered at the back and it does a pretty damn good job uh, catching all the turbulent wind. I got, you know, obstructions everywhere. Uh, you know, so I got real dirty wind. But I tell you what, there's a lot of questions about is micro wind worth it? Um, you know, I got a grand in these two turbines and poles and rectifiers and I don't see crazy power out of them I don't see power like John Daniels or you know some of these guys that are in the mountains or in wide open space but um, I do see a steady trickle charge basically every day you know if the air is moving they're spinning and they're making me some power and on days where the sun doesn't come out, you know, getting a kilowatt hour, two kilowatt hours out of the turbines, uh, that's the difference between my batteries being in the red or the yellow. And we can live in the yellow. Right now, they're, they're full green right now. But, uh, you know, there was a couple days last week where the sun didn't come out, but the wind was moving. And... You know, for the first winter and four years being off the grid, I haven't started my generator in two months. Um, and that's huge. You know, and winter's past, uh, especially, you know, November and March, we've had to rely on our generator to keep the batteries from undercharging. And this year, I've probably started it a handful of times all winter long and we're coming out of it now so I, I barely even look at the voltage meters anymore because I just know we're in the green but anyhow we can uh, peek in the basement and see what they're doing be right back and here we are there's the 800 it's not ridiculous power but that's usable five amps you know, 212 and there's the 500 that's the camel one we were standing under this one goes in and out because it's closer to the trees I probably just spun out right there it's real turbulent back there but and then Here's the two of them tied together. 
Um, we were at about 5,000 watt hours this morning. So we've already made over a kilowatt hour. And yep, I get it. That's only 11 cents a power. But when your house's stored energy is, you know, your usable energy is stored up in a battery bank, that makes a difference. Right now we pretty much turned everything on. I think we're doing uh, some laundry and some dishes and she's baking some cookies. That's the output on the inverter. Oh, something just turned off. But, you know, I got 1200 watts of panels and it's high noon and there's only 240 watts coming in because these guys keep speeding up and peaking my voltage. Uh, here goes the wind, disappeared. It'll come back. See the fans just kicked on, cooler rectifiers back down. They don't ever get real hot, but um, you know, again, I don't get I don't get mountain wind, so um, but I still like to keep my rectifiers cool. But yeah, is uh is micro wind worth it? Yeah it is. Yep. You know, I got a thousand bucks into it, and this is taking care of my three thousand dollar battery bank. So, um, repayment. You know, how long is it gonna take for me to get my thousand dollars back if they're making, uh, you know, kilowatt, two kilowatt hours a day? Eh, probably a long time, but because. I have turbulent wind and they never really uh, zoom up as fast as they could. They never really put out what they actually can. Um, I'm going to get a lot more life out of these. But what I'm most concerned about is getting more life out of these. And to me, that's worth it. Um, the solar is great. You know, this controller is awesome. My panels are awesome. When the sun comes out, they make solid power. Um, but it doesn't come out every day. And it goes away at night. And these things keep making power. So, you know, is micro solar or is micro wind worth it? Damn right it is. Um, you know, you might not see crazy power. And if you put one of these up and you're not seeing crazy power, if you're not seeing, you know, John Daniels power, don't freak out. You probably got dirty wind. I did freak out for a while. Um, and then I made some changes. I balanced my blades. I tried a couple different blades. I ended up going with uh, the three blade set, 810 millimeter um, that you saw out there. I used to have the six blades set up there and these are pretty short blades they didn't do me nothing they never caught it I was watching the trees fly all over the place and my turbine not spinning I went with a little bit longer three blades and now I make power so yeah, isn't that crazy this one's catching all the wind this one's swaying back and forth. It's it's real turbulent in the back there. But so if you're gonna if you're gonna go with one of these turbines, go with the three blades. A whole bunch of short blades aren't gonna do you no good. Go with the longer three blades. And if you got real dirty wind, it's real easy to cut that tail off and put a bigger piece of sheet steel on there and that'll straighten them out. That's all I got.